Hello and welcome to Stochastic Ways. We will be exploring live search methods in the context of minimization problems. So we are basically talking about the loss function. Line search is a technique used within optimization algorithm to help us decide how far we want to move in a given direction. So we can reduce the objective function or in this context, we can say the loss function. The step size is scalar quantity we typically represent it by the symbol eta the line search problem is about finding the best eta or step size that minimize the function phi consider the function x square plus y square this function is convex because both x square and y square are convex and add in convex function preserve convexity as you can see in this plane we started from three different points each with different directions in each case we are performing one dimensional linear search think of it this way this is like taking a one dimensional slice of the plane along a given direction so we are reducing the problem to a single variable which is the step size eta and our goal is to find the value of eta that minimize the function along that direction it's like sliding along a, the path and stopping where the function reaches its lowest point. When we restrict a convex function to a line, the result is also a convex function. And our position along that line depends solely on the step size at all. If the step size is too large, we might overshoot the minimum. And if the step size is too small, we fail to converge, which is bad for business. And to find the best, the optimal step size, there are two main approaches. Exact line search find the step size that exactly minimize the function, or it give us a good approximation of the step size with a high precision. For simpler function, we can find a closed form solution for more general more complex function we use numerical methods such as bisection and golden section instead of finding the exact step size that minimize the function we accept a step size that satisfy certain conditions so we basically saying that we accept a step size that is good enough and ensure convergence some of these conditions are wolf's conditions and our major rule inexact methods are often preferred because they are computationally cheaper while still guaranteeing convergence.